Hi everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to go through the steps in a couple parts on how I created this picture. Okay, and this is the photo that I've printed out uh, to use as reference. So I'm going to start with my tools um, and then I'm going to go over um, how I start sketching. And in advance, I apologize for Suki, who is definitely going to bark and make noise during this demonstration. Um, because we are not the model of professionalism here, let's be honest. So, let's start with the tools. Okay, the paper is um, 5 by 7 inch hot press watercolor paper. The difference between hot press and cold press um, is the amount of texture or tooth in the paper. So for pencil drawings, I like to use hot press paper. Um, it's a little more smooth on the surface. Okay. What I start with for the underdrawing, this is just a Prismacolor um, pencil, and I'll talk more about the underdrawing or initial sketch in a minute. Um, I have a mechanical pencil with HB lead. So you may have seen these different um, indicators on the lead. Um, it goes from H to HB to B um, with numbers beside it. So for example, 6H lead. Um, is very hard and it draws very lightly, while 6B lead is very soft and draws very dark. Um, so depending on what you're doing, um, you might have a different lead that you want to use, but HB is sort of middle of the road, um, good for everything. And then I also use, this is a 3B lead for the darker areas that I draw on. Um, I have just a regular eraser and my smudge sticks or tortillons and these things are great they usually come in packages that look something like this so that's the other thing that i use um, so when i start the drawing here's a couple things that i'm looking at and thinking about um, i was taught that when you initially start a drawing you want to have the whole sketch in there um, in about a minute or less and the reason for that is a lot of um, people, a common mistake that people make is they get really caught up in starting with a detail. And what happens is when you're worried about all these lovely little details, it throws off your proportions. So when you're doing your initial sketch, you want to work really loosely and quickly to make sure uh, that your proportions are correct. So the other thing I want to do when I look at this picture, I want to break it down into really simple shapes. So instead of looking at this owl and saying, okay, you know, here's a feather, here's a feather, here's a feather, I want to start out and say, okay, well, if I make an oval right here, that's sort of the shape of the head. Okay, here the eye is just a plain circle. Um, this ear could sort of be broken down into a little triangular shape. Um, the beak, again, is, is also not unlike a triangle. This is just sort of a curved line right here. So those are the things I want to break it down into and think about when I start drawing. So when I do my initial sketch, I'm going to work really loosely um, and draw from my elbow and not my wrist. Okay, and I'm going to look at this. I know, Suki, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to start out, and I'm also going to look at creating this on the page. In other words, where do I want the drawing to be on the page? And I want this one to get cut off in the back, like this drawing is, and just sort of continue on off the page. So in order to do that, I'm thinking, okay, I want this ear to be pretty close to the edge, right? So if I start with that, I just have this sort of little triangle shape, okay? And then I have sort of an oval for the whole head, okay? And then I'm looking at the proportion and distance from this ear to the eye. Okay, and I'm going to sort of guess that. Right, so right now this looks really rough and not that good, but that's all right. I'm not worried about the details yet. So this head part sort of comes down, okay, and the beak is sort of over in here, and that sort of just continues off the page. Okay, and this comes to the back. There's sort of a big white area right there. I can sort of mark that in really lightly. Right, so this is not super impressive so far, but that's okay. Now I'm going to look at this and go back and sort of clean it up a little bit. And I'll start with the eye and sort of clean that 
card up a bit. Okay, and here's the pupil. And that has a big shine on it. I'll put that in there. Okay, and it sort of has a bit of an eyelid on there. Okay, and here's sort of a darker feathered area that I can denote really quickly. And that sort of comes down, and here is the beak. And I'm going to put this line in here just to denote these feathers and go over this ear again. Okay, and so that is pretty much where I'm going to start the rest of the drawing at. And that's going to be the second part of the video.